guys welcome back to my channel i'm really excited for today's video because we are going to be doing the sephora vip shop with me i do this every single time multiple times a year because there's multiple sephora vip sales but i do a shop with me where i share my screen and we go through all of the items in my sephora cart i talk you talk to you guys about why i want them hopefully talk myself out of some items in my cart and then wait for your guys's comments on what you think i should buy versus not buy so that is what we are going to be doing today I will say I am filming this video almost two weeks before this for a VIB sale starts. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to post it yet. Probably at least one week from today, um, if not like eight days from today. So if things come out and you're like kind of surprised to not see them in my cart, that is why. I will also note that I, while I'm excited for the VIB sale, I haven't, I don't want to say I haven't been as excited about makeup lately, but I haven't been as excited about purchasing new makeup. And I feel almost bored by like every release. Like I'll still check trend mood every day and I'm like, mm, not a lot excites me. Indie eyeshadow palettes, certainly. And there are definitely some things in my Sephora cart, but I felt like I was scrolling through the site, literally adding things to my cart just to have like extra things to talk to you guys about. And it's like, I don't want to be purchasing things or buying things just to buy them. I want to buy things because I'm excited about them. And I think I am going to make some changes to my channel next year where I'm doing less project pans so that I can truly just like love and enjoy makeup again. Maybe get back to doing more reviews, at least some more reviews on my channel. I'm super itchy. There's hair on me. But I also just don't want to buy just to buy. So I'm going to preface it with that. I definitely have less in my cart today than I have in previous shop my Sephora shop with me's. Um, I still have over 30 items. So we're going to go through it all. If you're interested in seeing what's currently in my Sephora shopping cart, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like chit-chatting on makeup, project planning content, palette-themed content, we've got it all here, and I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. Other than that, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, I'm going to scooch over so that I can share my screen over here to the right, my right at least. We are recording. I will note there are a few things that I am really excited about to purchase in my cart. So I currently have, I think, 33 items, a hundred and worth, worth 1719 I am not spending that during this four of the IB sale. I do have a trip coming up in December, which I'm literally so excited about. And I want to save money for that. So I don't plan to buy a ton during the sale. So we need to walk through the cart. Okay. Up first, I have the Say Mini Dew Blush Trio set. I do really want to purchase this. I just want to quickly check what shades are in this. Oh, chili, isn't it? Rosy Chili and Baby. I, so I do have the shade Chili, but then maybe I could give the mini Chili to my sister to try. I really, really enjoy the Say Blush, Dewy Blush product. In fact, I actually filmed my Sephora recommendations before filming this video. That video will be posting after. Um, and I talked about recommending the Say Dewy Blushes. So I do really want to purchase this um, just because I think it'd be fun. Like, I really like all three shades. So I do think I will keep that in my cart and will likely end up purchasing that one. Okay, next up I have the Gucci Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. I have been eyeing the Gucci bronzer for so long. And I feel like my bronzer, I have an itch now too. Oh my gosh. I feel like my bronzer collection feels like it's dwindling. It's it's not, but it feels like it to me. But it's $65 for a bronzer. And would I go with shade one fair or two light? See, I think I want to go, oh, that's a toughie. Because the one fair looks like almost like a rosy pink, but then two light looks dark. I feel like maybe this is just a sign I don't need to be spending $65 on a bronzer. Because I feel like this is also something that sounds more like a formula I would use in the spring summer. So we're going to take that out. Woo, we're taking out $65. Okay, I put in a couple of products from Lawless. You'll see kind of scattered throughout. I was thinking I wanted to do, I was gonna do it this year on my channel. I wanted once a month to do like a full brand review, um, but that felt like that was giving me excuse to buy products that I wouldn't necessarily be using. And so then as I was building this card, I was like, well, maybe I'll do that next year. But as of right now, I think no. Like I want to not feel as overwhelmed by my makeup choices every day as well. So I'm going to take the Lawless 
glam guard long wear setting spray although no i still have i still have, mm, actually maybe i will keep this in does it have good reviews like is it gonna actually make my makeup last longer not that many reviews okay i'm gonna take this out for now i do still have my cali ray setting spray I would potentially purchase like maybe next spring hopefully they have the benefit setting spray in the ulta 21 days of beauty again we're taking all this out okay i do want to purchase one foundation during the sale and i'm going between the house labs tri triclone skin tech medium coverage foundation and the one from guerlain the latent healthy glow foundation i do want to purchase one of these you guys let me know which one you think I should get. The house labs or their girl on. We're gonna leave both of those in for right now because I can't decide. Okay, next up, I'm almost positive I will purchase this. This is the Kayali uh, Oudgasm Vanilla Oud 36 at a Perfume Intense Travel Spray. I want, I love Oud. I love the scent of that. Sometimes vanilla can be super hit or miss, but I also think this bottle is really cute and I don't think 38 is a terrible price for it if you guys have tried this let me know what your thoughts are um still thinking about that i probably don't need this peter thomas roth pumpkin enzyme mask because i'm still trying to get through so i just have not been in a stable skincare routine for a couple of years now but i have so many skincare products in my collection still to get through before i feel like i can start even rethinking my like actual <laughs> daily skincare routine i'm gonna take this out i still have other masks to get through and that one's quite expensive okay this one i'm almost positive i'm gonna buy the moment i saw this on treadmill this was one of the things that i was like okay i'm actually excited for this it's the danessa myrick's beauty dynamic chrome duo for face and eyes there's a target uh notification um this looks so freaking pretty uh and i love ooh, like i love a lavender kind of look it's i don't know if i said it's in the shade rock candy not necessarily the type of products i would use every day but i feel like i just i really really want this like i don't think there's any talking myself out of this and i've actually really enjoyed using my Cila glitter and glow this year just to add like an extra pop so i'd like to try these from Danessa myricks there was a different um like flakes jar that i have my eye on i don't know if it's in my card or not i almost purchased it earlier this year and didn't so i think i'll get this set and then if i like those flakes or if i feel like i'm using them maybe i'll get the second flakes that i was looking at okay next up we have the patrick ta major holiday face palette i feel like i've been so close to purchasing patrick ta face holiday face palettes in the past and they haven't gotten the best reviews but this I feel like is very on trend with the pink. I love the outer pink packaging, not gonna lie. And I feel like the eyeshadow shades also look really beautiful. I've seen people buy this, but I haven't seen any reviews. You guys will have to let me know what your thoughts are on this one. I know that one's quite expensive as well, but I am definitely interested in that. I'm almost positive I'm gonna buy Boy Smells Woodphoria. Um, you guys know I love my replica by, by the fireside. Um, and this one has kind of like a woodsy sort of scent to it as well i like replica by the fireside better but just to like have a couple of options so i do think i'll buy that okay i feel like this is something i was just kind of adding to my cart to add to my cart i was going through my loves list although now that i'm seeing this is an allure 2023 best of beauty winner i i am kind of interested in this pink glow highlighter from say multi-use cream highlighting blush Ooh. And I have loved a glowy blush. Mm. Let me know about this one, you guys. I'm going to keep this one in the cart. <laughs> We're not making great, great progress here. Here are those other Danessa Myricks flakes I was thinking about. So this is in the shade Sweet Tooth, which is number five. No. Really? I thought it was... Okay. Anyway. Um... Oh my gosh, I've swatched these in store and they just look so pretty, but I definitely don't need this, especially if I'm thinking about getting that set. And because the set is only $30 and you're getting two products and then the Chrome Flakes is $25 by itself, we're going to take the Chrome Flakes out. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one for us to take out and really take out a good chunk of money. I wanted to just put this in here because I thought this looked so pretty. Y'all know how much I love a pink highlight. Love a pink highlight. So naturally I thought that the Rose 
Irisai, the rose gold highlight from Tom Ford just looked so, so, so pretty. But I am not spending $90 on a highlighter, Lord help me. I'm gonna also take out the Lawless Shape Up Soft Fill Eyebrow Pencil. I just don't need another eyebrow pencil right now. I'm definitely interested in this pencil in the future, but I just don't need it right now, so I'm gonna take that out. Uh, the Pat McGrath Mothership Bougie Brilliance Starstruck Splendor. I kind of want this. I like the matte shades and the shimmers. And then I like that you're getting two of the Pat McGrath blushes because I have not yet tried the Pat McGrath blushes. I've swatched them in the store and they look really beautiful. But then I'm like, ugh, would I get use out of this? And also I've like just been telling myself I'm just like not as into my blush collection as I used to be. And it's $76. Let me know you guys. I'm gonna keep this one in here. I know you guys will lead me in the right direction in the comments. I know you'll lead me in the right direction. Okay, the Summer Fridays, the mini lip butter balm set. I'm really disappointed to see this out of stock, but not surprised. I'm hoping, like if this comes in stock at all, I'm gonna buy it instantly. You get four of the Summer Fridays mini lip butter balms, which I think this would just be so perfect because I could have one in my desk, I could have one in my car, I could have one at work, I could have one in my purse. Like it would allow me to have a Summer Fridays lip butter balm at all times and it's only 25 bucks. So if I see that come back in stock, I will be buying that. Um, okay, the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer I've had my eye on for so long as well. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I do, again, feel like this would definitely be more of a product that I would use spring, summer. So perhaps I should wait. Perhaps I should wait until the next Sephora VIB sale. I'm definitely interested in that, but I do have other cream bronzer products that I could try and get through. Maybe one or two. Maybe one before the next Sephora spring sale. So, so maybe I'll wait on that. I'm going to take that out. Um, oh, I'm like going through this. I'm like, what else do I have in here that's like making it $1,400? Oh, I'm remembering some more. There's fragrance. Okay, the Rare Beauty Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter um, in Rose Bronze. I feel like I just want to try this to know because so many people just in the shade Mesmerize, sorry, which is a Rose Bronze. So many people rave about this. Do I need this though? I don't need anything. Lead me in the right direction, you guys. Okay, next up, we have the Tatcha Plumpy Dewy Skin Essentials for dry skin. I love to purchase a Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream every year, but I do still have, so I purchased the Jumbo last year, and like I mentioned, I have so many skincare products I'm trying to get through. So I was kind of making the Dewy Skin Cream like a treat to me and would only use it like once a week. <laughs> so I still actually have quite a bit of that left. So. I don't need to purchase another one right now. I think again, kind of next spring Sephora VIB sale time, I might be ready to re-up on my Tatcha Dewy skin cream. I also think if you like Tatcha products, they always have really good holiday sets. So it's a really good time to buy Tatcha, but I personally just do not need this one right now. I am really interested in trying the Necessaire deodorant. Um, if you guys have tried this, let me know if you feel like it works, but I'm gonna keep that in my basket i'm gonna take out autumn vibes i don't think i meant to put autumn vibes by replica in my cart okay i saw this from house labs it's a mini phd lip oil trio set i definitely don't need this especially if i get the lip bar balm i definitely don't need this i should take this out i do not need more lip oils i don't even if i don't get the lip butter balm set i don't need that okay i think this was just a reminder like i want to try the ordinary high adherence silicone primer again it's only $6.70. I think usually you can't get the like percentage off on ordinary products. I don't know if that's still the case. Um, but I'm going to keep that in there because I do kind of want to... Well, no. I told myself I was on a primer no buy for the rest of the year. And I should actually stick to that. I should just stick to it. I have primers to get through. We're taking it out. Okay, this Peter Thomas Roth gift set. I feel like I just tossed in to be like, hmm, I could use hydration. It's another thing to talk about. But I actually just don't need this. So we're taking that out. The Sephora Favorites Perfume Sampler Set. This is such a good value. If there's a fragrance in here that you know you want to purchase or you know you want because you get the voucher for the full size. Is there anything in here that I am wanting? I think maybe... What were the... 
there's so many. Juliet has a gun lust for sun. I haven't smelled that one, but I'm interested. This one um, has a uh, 1.2 of the replica by the fireplace, so highly recommend shouting that out. Let's see. The Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. I am interested in that. Potentially the Tom Ford Ombre Leather, although I think I maybe don't like that one. I don't know. I probably... Mm, I shouldn't get this because I think I'm going to get the Wood Foria. I'm going to take this perfume sampler set out. I don't need all the fragrances right now, but I do just know that I do highly recommend that if you are looking for a good gift for someone who loves fragrance or if you want any of those in a full size. It's such a good value. Okay. I'm really interested in seeing what replica on a date smells like. That's why I have this one in my cart. I do want to go in and smell it before purchasing, but I just have the travel size saved for that. I also just wanted to shout this out and ask if you guys have smelled this or heard of this. I think it's online only. And right now the only size you can get because the other size is sold out is of course the largest one. I will not be purchasing this in the large size, but it's called matcha meditation. And I feel like this could go one of two ways. Like it definitely could go one of two ways. It could smell really good or like just too earthy. I'm not going to purchase that in the full size, but if you guys know what this smells like, let a girl know in the comments below. Okay. I also have a travel size of the replica jazz club. I have gone through a travel size of this before. I really like this. It's definitely a heavier scent. Just trying to think if I need, I probably don't need I don't need all these fragrances. Okay, I'm gonna take Jazz Club out because I'd be more interested in trying Replica on a date. Okay, we're going with that. Okay, then I have the Sephora Favorites Glitz and Glam Makeup Set. Ooh, that doesn't have great stuff. Oh, that's right. Someone was saying the Gisu oil spilled all over the bag. I don't need this. This is just me wanting that meeting, which is my entire cart, but I really don't need this. We're going to take that out too. Okay. With my aging skin, I definitely have been getting more and more into hourglass again. And so naturally I am interested in the like holiday palette. And I don't know why, but I have my eye on the darkest one. The snake one I feel like is so cute. Um, and I know that it's deeper shades. I feel like I would love this in like the spring summertime. That one is just speaking to me more than like the other ones just look kind of dull and boring to me. I don't know why, but I do really have my eye on the snake one. So I'm keeping that in there. Lead me in the right direction. I know you guys are going to tell me I definitely don't need this, but I think even if you tell me that I'm going to be buying this because I just truly cannot help myself. And actually I may have already purchased this with Ulta points, but I just wanted to talk about it. Um, and you'll probably see this in my Sephora haul just because it's easier to include in that. But it's the NARS All That Glitter is Light Reflecting Palette. This is so good if you don't have a NARS palette and you've been eyeing it. Like this is such a great time to get it. And also I just can't help but collect them even though I know. I know that they all look the same. But the formula is so good and so luxe in my opinion. So I'm going to remove this from my cart because I do own it. But I just wanted to sneak it in and let you guys know. Maybe buy it. Okay, and then the last, oh, did I talk about the Natasha Denona High Glam Brightening Concealer? I do want to try this. I do. I also want the Giorgio Armani, but the Natasha Denona is just a little bit less expensive. A little bit less expensive. So I'm thinking I'm going to get that concealer because I've been looking to get a concealer. And then the last product in my cart, I keep going back and forth on, and I can't seem to talk myself totally out of it because it does look so pretty, but I literally don't need it. I'd rather purchase indie palettes and just keep purchasing indie palettes. But the Anastasia Beverly Hills Fall Romance Eyeshadow Palette does just look so beautiful, especially like the shade Fireside and Crown. Oh my gosh, like those look so, so pretty, but I definitely don't need this. I should just take this out. I've purchased so many palettes. I just purchased the, like the second pre-order that they released of one of the, um, unearthly cosmetics fall palette. Okay. I'm taking this out. I don't need it. And we still have my carts way too full. <laughs> my cart is way too full. So we're going to take this one out and then it's just up to you guys to talk me in and out of the products that are here. Okay. You guys, we have narrowed my, we've cut my cart over half products, over half the products that were currently in there or that were in there at the beginning. So we're down to 15 items for a total of $6.99. That's before the sale. 
we still need to cut down these products. So leave me your feedback, leave me your feedback, leave me in the right direction. What do you think I should get? What should I skip? I love, love, love filming these videos because I just love to read your guys' comments. So let me know what you think I should get. And that is gonna wrap it up for today's Sephora VIB shop with me. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next, in my next video. video. Bye. Bye.